So here's my technique for knocking down the epoxy that I've used to fill the knot holes. Uh, take a router and a cheap router bit. And in the router base, uh, I, I put with double stick duct, duct tape, uh, two strips of wood, the same height, just to elevate the router a little bit. And the bit is pretty much flush with these, uh, minus a little bit. And so the way I test it is, uh, is I take it on the workbench over here and, and I lower it until it sticks, until the router bit sticks in the wood. Then I raise it just a little bit until, until I can move it around the workbench and see that it does not uh, move, that the bit never catches and the bit never moves. Uh, so what that'll do is that'll allow the router to glide over the epoxy except the bit will catch it. So you can see how it's catching right there. And uh, and then otherwise it's not gonna be catching. Oh, caught there, but that was the base. Anyway, you get the idea. So uh, seems to be an effective solution. but it does uh, get it far enough that I can then use a scraper on it. And before I used the router, I was finding myself getting pretty aggressive with the with a hand plane, trying to make quick enough progress to knock it down that far even. And so the router has helped to, um, to be able to safely knock down the majority of it and then I can finish up here. The scraper. There we go. This epoxy is dyed with uh, trans tint, dyed to a, a dark walnut, which matches the knots pretty well in here. Put it outside. Obviously, that was where I where I spilled a drop of epoxy, but didn't uh, didn't actually have a knot there. I remember doing that. Now I remember better. And you can see that that the epoxy fills not host well, and uh, this sure makes quick work of knocking it down. So then finishing up with the scraper um, becomes a lot easier. <laughs> 